How's it going? Dave from Comic Book Investments. So, every once in a while, actually more than once in a while, I get this stuff in and it keeps happening and it just, a part of me is mad and a part of me, it literally breaks my heart. Like, it's, when you have comic books and you sell them, I know you guys out there, you're all comic lovers, and I know you would never do this. And, you know, I've learned over the years, it's it's just the non-comic lovers who get comics and they need to sell them, or who knows why, how they got these comics maybe passed down, maybe they stumbled upon them, or whatever it is. But you need to ship them properly, right? Because damage happens to them. I have a stack right here of these amazing adventures, pretty much one through 10 with 18 right here. Super, super high grade. Like all these comics are probably nine fours to nine eights. Yes, nine fours to nine eights. And so what am I complaining about? I'll show you. I don't have these boxes anymore because of all the damage. But they look like this. These cubed looking boxes, right? See, cubed, they fold like this. See, they kind of fold like this. See them? That is a large flat rate. When you put the book in the large flat rate, right? See, it has extra room, right? Look at all that extra room where you can put packing material and everything like that. The ones I am talking about is the one step down from that, the medium flat rate. If you're gonna use medium flat rate, use the long skinny ones. Don't use the cubed ones. The cubed ones, because they're literally the exact same size of the comic book. So anytime any corner gets dinged just a little bit from the postman handling it, damaged. This is what happened to me. It happens all the time. See that corner crease? See it? These books, are in super, super duper nice shape, right? So you have, it doesn't look that bad here. It's hard to tell in the picture, but here's the back side of it. Look at that corner down at the blo below. Here's a zoomed in picture of it. Those are from damaged shipping. It's just so annoying. So, like you can't like yes you can press but you can't press out these color breaks it's now forever damaged right here's another one over here you can see right up there corner crease here's the back side of it this one's really bad like they're all like this every single one right here's a front of number uh, another one see that massive crease that pretty much goes right through the color break right there kind of hard to tell maybe i can zoom in a little bit See that massive color break? You know, this probably, this kind of stuff I think was probably, looks like it was there before, but this little corner crease wasn't there before. Here's the back side of it. You're going to see the big creasing through it. Right? Again, here's the back side of the number one. And, you know, I'm mad at the fact that yeah it sucks I bought these books and now they're kind of not in the gray that I thought they were going to be in right but I'm sad at the fact that they don't make new old comic books you can't make new old comic books it's impossible right I mean you could reprint them but that's just a reprinted now version and every time you do this they're become like I remember this one time I got a, what was it, a Bo Adventure of Bob Hope number one, 
I think it's from the 50s or some 40s, something like that. Pretty old. The person just took the plain comic book and slid it into a bag and put that in a box. No bag and backboard, no cardboard, no nothing. It got shooken up, a piece came off, and I told the guy, I was like, look, this big piece came off, right? And he's like, well, you know, send it back, I don't care, right? This person obviously didn't know anything about comics. And I was like, no, that's not the point, right? This right here, this book that you had, if this piece didn't get knocked off, is a good sized piece, like that much. Because, you know, some of those older books get pretty brittle. If that didn't happen, this would have been the single highest grade. I doubt, even, and this was years ago, and I doubt it's been beat since. So you literally just took something that was one of a kind, literally just one of the top grade. I think it was like a seven, which was like the top grade or an eight or something like that. Top grade at the time. I think the next one down would have been like a, a five five or something like that. And now it's ruined. You can't, you can't undo this. Like you can't find this might in the history might be the single highest grade from forever, right? There might never be another one that beats it. And now you just ruined it and you can't undo that. Another time someone literally took uh, a Marvel, uh, Marvel mystery comics. I forget the numbers. It was a higher number, but taped the book, the book itself, not in a bag or backboard, the book itself to cardboard. So I'm going through and I'm like, wait, is this tape on the book? And it had shifted. And so it just basically, the tape was like on the book and it shifted in the mail and it just kind of just peeled a lot of the cover off. And it was a really high grade and I explained to the person the same thing. Like, it, it makes me sad because there's no more of that book in that grade. Those were all highest grade. There's, you can't undo that. There might never be another one. So it like kind of makes me sad when a book gets ruined because I know how rare it is. It'd be one thing if these adventure, uh, amazing adventures were like four O's. Yeah, it sucks that I put a ding in and brought it down to a three five or a three O or whatever you know the grade drop is. But there's any day that we can go up there and you can find one. But these books, like, you know, let's just see how, you know, how rare some of these books are. Like, let's see, where is my, let's find um, Google Chrome. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to Amazing Adventures. I mean, these books were literally all top grades. Like, some of these would definitely have been a 9.8. So if we look at the census here, all right, we got 36. So not super rare, but still, one of 36. You know, you go number two. You know, you got five. It would have been the sixth one. Like, I'm telling you, some of these books are, like, super, super nice. Like, all in top grades. And, yeah, it sucks that, you know, they could have been $450, $250. Now they're going to be down in this area, right? And that sucks, right? But it's, you know, look, number three, only five. Like, they're, you know, super rare in, in a top grade. Number seven. Oh, there's 31 at number seven, so quite a bit. But that's what kind of, like, kind of bugs me about that, is just, please, take care, like, They've made it this many years, 60, 70 years or whatever, how long. Take the extra time to pack it properly, put it between cardboard. Put Like, you don't even have to go to the store. You can literally cut up an old box. I'm sure everyone has an Amazon box lying around. Cut that up. There's your cardboard, right? You should have a bag and backboard on hand to put it in there. Then take some old newspaper or magazines or some piece of paper. You have paper somewhere. You could crunch that up. Like, I'm not... Like, I get it. Some people, I don't want to go to the store to buy all this stuff. Fine. And then on top of that, USPS will deliver for free, like, boxes to you if you use their priority. They'll give you free boxes. So there, there's free boxes. You can even cut up those boxes, make multiple layers of cardboard. And do not use, for whatever reason, the medium flat rate cubed ones. You can use the medium flat rate long ones because that leaves room. 
they're too small. They're the exact size of comics. It's fine to use the large flat rate, flat rate ones, but don't use the medium flat rate. Please don't. So that, that's just, you know, I get it. Most people on here aren't going to do that. You know, I've learned from experience, like back in the day, you know, my shipping was pretty poor because I didn't know what I was doing. And then I've learned as customers, like, hey, it's getting damaged. I'm like, okay, we nixed that medium flat rate. We never use that anymore. We use the cube kind, but we can st stack tons of packing material between that. Um, and if it's more expensive or higher grade, we definitely, we use a completely different box altogether. You know, it's just please take care of the stuff you have. And then when you ship it to someone new, please make sure that it comes in the condition that they have in the pictures. If not just because people return it, but also because it just damages the book and then it just, you know, it just sucks. I just, it kind of breaks my heart when these books get damaged like that. So, all right. Well, that's kind of it. Have a good day.